Here it comes. Welcome to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, Jeffrey. Where ocean currents take the world's trash. Disgusting. But you're gonna change that, right, Ant? Oh, yeah. See all this plastic, Jeffrey? With Rick's help, we're gonna clean it up. Rick? You mean you actually named your robot? Of course. He might as well be a person. Except he's made of metal and has no skin or personality or beating heart. Do you have a beating heart, Fontaine? Do you? Because Rick's like a brother, and we're working together to clean up the sea. Rick stands for Rubbish Ingesting Craft. And by now, you will have gobbled up most of this gyre. Ugh, I think this rubbish tip has actually grown. Well, it was always going to be a big job. I'll have to make some adjustments to Rick. If I can find him. Huh, GPS says he's right here. But see, below the surface, on the bottom, maybe? You mean he might have sunk? No! My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are the Nectans, and we explore the deep. So, realistically, Rick could be anywhere. In the bulky garbage at the top, the finer stuff in the middle, or in the microplastics below. I'm not abandoning him! I'll take the rover! The rover's cooling system can't filter out this kind of plastic. Ah, uh, night then! Same deal. We risk destroying it. Our only option is to swim. In that? Mm, gross. If that's what it takes to rescue Rick, then that's what we'll do. Sorry, Jeffrey. You'll have to wait here. It's like a plastic milkshake out there. Jeffrey's obviously scared. How about I stay here and fish sit? <laughs> nice try. Your brother needs you, Fontaine. Besides, the more people searching, the faster we'll find Rick. Oh, this is beyond gross. This is swimming in a dumpster. All I can see is plastic. All I can see is spots. So many spots. It's just some plastic on your mask. Hold still. <laughs> Something's got me! Help! Aw, oh, look, Dad. It's an amperito. <laughs> Quit joking and get me out! Try to relax. <laughs> How do fish deal with all this? They don't even have opposable thumbs. Let's keep moving. <sighs> this is depressing. It doesn't stop. Green sticky jelly. Uh, it moved. Are you sure? Oh, wow. Yes, you're sure. It definitely responded. Then it must be alive. I've launched the pingers. Incoming. Wow. It's huge. But what is it? Diagnostics say it's a larvation. No, it can't be. Excuse me, what's a... A larvation surrounds itself with a house made out of translucent mucus. You left out the bit where it's supposed to be the size of a tadpole. So it's hundreds of times bigger than normal. It's a monumental. At the risk of grossing myself out, exactly how much mucus? A normal larvation's body is tadpole-sized, with housing a meter wide. This one's the size of the Aranax, with housing a mile wide. Monumental mucus! Awesome! Ugh, you and I have very different ideas of awesome. Poor thing has been accidentally eating all the garbage that's filtering through its housing. Are you getting these images, Ant? Look, in the mucus! It's Rick!
Okay, the mucus isn't alive. The larvation won't feel anything, but let's make this fast. Got him! Retracting the cables? Come on, Rick. No! The mucus is heading our way, too! Emergency stop! To it. Full reverse. And we'll have to disconnect the cable. What? And abandon poor Rick? No way! We cannot do that! Yes, we can. She's right. We need to gain any small advantage we can. Ah, my sister's a monster! Once more, full reverse. Come on. Come on. Overheating. Plastics clogging number three intake. Shut down the engines. Everything. Okay, that's it. We're totally cooked. At least we're free. Yeah, but Rick isn't. There's a blockage in number three water intake tube. The fan isn't functioning at all. Can you try to blow it out? No response. Everyone, suit up. We need to go examine the intake. I'll have to manually clean it out and repair any damage. I can help clean it out. Thanks, Fontaine. But there's only room in there for one lucky person. Which leaves three of us to rescue Rick. Yes! Just don't get stuck to the mucus. <laughs> Words to live by. Larvations can't feel anything on the outer membrane. Let's see if we can perform a little surgery and remove Rick. Hmm. Darker than I thought. <sighs> Mucus housing. Mucus. <laughs> mucus. Even the word is disgusting. I just hope Rick's not hurt. It's an object, and it won't be hurt. Damaged, maybe. You'll need a full checkup. You mean service. He's definitely my best creation yet. There's not a lot of competition. No one's ever powered a machine by pyrolysis to consume the plastic and convert it to fuel. Okay, that is clever and needed. Just try to remember it's a machine you should be very proud for trying it i am modest not so much heads up this is the actual larvation the larvation has two houses that act as filters on both sides and seems to be surrounded by this memory oh hey there big guy it must have been alive for eons i wonder if it's older than you and dad that came out wrong. I just meant he's like an elder of the sea. As I was saying, it's been happy here for millennia, and suddenly it has to deal with all this plastic. Be on your guard. The last thing we need is one of you getting stuck to the membrane. Come on, let's check out Rick. Hey, buddy. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I think there's something wrong with the larvation. How can you tell? I'm not exactly a colossal tadpole mucus creature expert. See how its tail movements are so spasmodic and jerky? It's supposed to move fluidly. I did notice some of the housing had a green tinge, like this. We have a sick monumental on our hands. Not surprising, I guess, given how much plastic it's been eating. To stay healthy, larvations eject their houses when the filters become clogged. Then they make a new one. Why hasn't he ejected his house? All the garbage has made him sick. He's too weak. He needs us. Will, the larvation's sick. I'll try to manually cut its housing away. Okay. I'll be there to help as soon as I'm done here. 
How bad is it? It's more plastic than submarine in here. Okay, we'll have to get started without you. <laughs> I need more arms. It won't be able to feel a thing. Don't you worry, big guy. We'll help you get rid of this giant booger. Hmm. Don't you use the shampoo, Fontaine? Yes, I do, but I dispose of my rubbish responsibly. And then what happens to it? Look, that chocolate bar wrapper. Isn't that your favorite? We're all responsible for this mess. Creatures like this pay the price. Hey, this isn't just a wrapper. The chocolate bar's still inside. Ah, scar! You're gonna eat garbage patch chocolate? Uh, fine, I'll share it with you. I think you misunderstood my disgust. Okay, I'm just about done here. There. Great job, Mom! Look, it's shedding its housing. Activator key was knocked out of my hand. It's just out of reach. I can't reach it. And I can't start the Aranax without it. We're nearly there, Ant. Uh, can you do better than nearly? Fontaine, do what you can to free him with this. I'm going to get the rover. The rover? It can't take all this plastic. Better the rover suffers than Ant. Did she say suffer? Was that the word? Does she know something I don't? I know many things you don't, Ant. Okay, I suppose that's possible. You do realize that your contraption is a lot more trouble than it's worth. Rick's value is immeasurable. <laughs> Hold still. I am! More still. I'm a naturally squirmy person. This is as still as I've ever been. Have you thought about how still you'd be if you stopped talking? No, that thought has never crossed my mind. <gasps> I do now. 
Hold still. We're running out of time. I barely have time to cut you out, let alone Rick. That's it. You're free. Come on. Thanks, Fontaine. But I really don't like leaving Rick. <gasps> Can I just have one last shot at saving Rick? Let's see. No. Mom, we let him sink. He's just another piece of litter in the sea, right? Well, true. If I fix him, improve him, in time, a fleet of Ricks could clean up all the oceans. <sighs> worth fighting for, right? Right. The planet is worth fighting for, and if Rick can help with that, then he's worth fighting for, too. Thanks, Fontaine. Also, you totally just referred to Rick as he. What? No, I didn't. You really did. Now, just the one shot, Ant, and be quick. Okay, Rick, I'm coming for you. Yes! Hang on, buddy! We've got this! You already tried this. That was without forward thrusters. needs power. There's nothing to keep us from sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Mom, you know how I freely admit you know many things I don't? I'm thinking you probably know a way out of this, right? No, Aunt. Pity about that. I... I can't... Jeffrey, we don't have time to mess around. Wait, are you... Really? <laughs> Attaboy, Jeffrey! Keep going! Yes! Even Ant will have a hard time believing this. Dad, can you hear us? Dad! Will, come in, please. We must be out of range. Ant, release Rick. It's only dragging us down faster. You never leave a man behind, Fontaine. Ant, I believe in what you're trying to do, and we can build a new Rick together. But right now, it's time to let him go. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry, Rick. I tried to save you. I'll always think of you as a true environmental warrior. Working hard to clean up the ocean. And okay, okay. Huh? Yes! Epic timing, Dad! Just glad I found you. Like I said, no one gets left behind. Hey, check it out. The larvation is already making a new house. A healthy one. Still gross. Gross, but functional for now. And all in all, a good day's work. Guess Rick wasn't the hero of the day after all. It was Dad. Actually, you're not gonna believe this. Jeffrey saved us all. <laughs> He's a hero. Well, I mean, I had a little bit to do with it. Of course. That's what good sidekicks do. Sidekick to a fish. Mm, I've had worse jobs. Drum roll, please. <clears throat> I hereby launch the new and improved Rick. My dude. Good luck, buddy. We'll check on you in a couple of months. I just hope he doesn't get stuck to the larvation again. No chance. I put a sensor on the larvation and modified Rick's guidance system so he'll stay clear of it. Wow. Impressive. 
It eats everything. Like me. We should make more of these, but much bigger. I agree. One for every garbage patch on the planet. And will you be naming all of your contraptions? Absolutely. I won't name them until I know their personalities, of course. Oh, of course. Now for a well-earned snack. No. Oh, Mom, I would have shared. Nobody wants to eat the garbage patch chocolate. I want to eat the garbage patch chocolate. Actually, I wouldn't mind a bite of the garbage patch chocolate. See? Ugh. Not helping, sidekick. Thank you.